Well, Minnesota is in an unusual position in the midterms. Both U.S. Senate seats are on the ballot because of Al Franken's resignation. Democrat Tina Smith was appointed to replace him, but now she faces a challenge at the ballot box to keep the job from Republican Karen Housley and independent candidate Jerry Troyan. Our John Croman breaks down this race new tonight at 10. Democrat Tina Smith has spent 10 months in the U.S. Senate, but this will be the first time she stood for election by herself instead of as a running mate for Governor Dayton. Think about the kids that are organizing to make their schools safer. No downtime for Senator Tina Smith, who's hoping to tap into energized volunteers to drive turnout in her favor. The number one thing that people talk to me about is the rising cost of health care and especially prescription drugs. So I've been focusing on that. I've introduced bills to bring down the cost of prescription drugs. Smith spent most of her career outside of government, with places like General Mills and Planned Parenthood. She joined Mayor R.T. Ryback as chief of staff in 2006 and moved to the same job with Governor Dayton in 2011, negotiating crucial deals like U.S. Bank Stadium. She was elected lieutenant governor in 2014 and held that post until Dayton appointed her to the Senate. We need to protect the consumer protections that were in the Affordable Care Act, which stop big insurance companies from discriminating against people who have a pre-existing condition like diabetes or cancer. That's just wrong and we need to stop that. Get something done. Do something good when you're there. State Senator Karen Housley is the Republican challenger. Our solution is to uh, buy your health insurance like you buy uh, your car insurance uh, online across state lines. Pick and choose what kind of basket you want. Housley's ads feature hockey legend hubby Phil Housley and and her mother, who's in the end stages of Alzheimer's. It's one of the reasons that Housley led the charge at the state capitol when the state health department fell way behind investigating reports of elder abuse. They were throwing these reports in the garbage. Instead of investigating, they were throwing them in the garbage. Housley says she doesn't always agree with the president's style, but likes what he's done. We have two uh, justices on the Supreme Court that he's appointed. Uh, lowest unemployment in 18 years, largest tax reform in 30 years. Do you really think the Republicans and Democratic parties are going to change on their own? Virtually everyone is saying it's a mess. Jerry Troyans, a hugely successful real estate developer known best for the riverfront project they wouldn't let him build, the Bridges of St. Paul. He's running as an unaffiliated candidate, but won't criticize Smith or Housley. Everything that I know about both women is that they are fine, wonderful people, but they have a problem. And the problem is they're trapped. They have handcuffs on. Whoever wins this election will serve the last two years of Al Franken's term and then go back on the campaign trail again in 2020 to run for a regular six-year term. For Care 11 News, I'm John Croman.